Did you know that Jupiter has 95 moons? <laughs> and some of them are big, like planet-sized big. <laughs> I'm gonna populate these big moons of Jupiter and see which one isn't gonna kill me. All right, so I'm starting on Callisto. It's the furthest moon from Jupiter, which means it also has the worst view. Ugh. <gasps> oh, no, that's nothing. Callisto orbit detected 1,883,000 kilometers from Jupiter. Okay, so if you haven't heard about Callisto, here's some facts. One, it's a moon. Two, it's pretty big. <laughs> Three, it's only slightly smaller than Mercury, which is a full planet. So I call this rock almost uh, planet-sized. Now walking on Callisto is fun because it's like walking on Earth's moon. The gravity here is so low, it's almost like I'm floating. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a look around, I guess. This rain looks real bumpy. Billions of years of impact from asteroids and comets has made Callisto's surface the most heavily cratered in the solar system. Oh, well, look at this. A crater perfectly sized for a pool. And what's a home without a pool, right, Rico? The temperature on Callisto is minus 140 degrees Celsius. Water will freeze immediately. Okay, an ice rink then. This one will be an ice rink. We'll uh, heat this one to be a pool then. And, uh, oh. And this one will be an ice plunge. Very Scandinavian. <sighs> I'm getting to work. <sighs> oh, welcome to the crib. Uh, I, I know that I said that this was gonna be the worst moon, but uh, it's actually looking pretty nice. You see these pools over here? The only reason they stay intact is because there's almost like no geological activity on Callisto. That's right, no volcanoes, no earthquakes. It's kind of perfect here. Nothing can kill me. Ah, <sighs> foreshadowing. the view sucks. The distance from Jupiter means that there's way less radiation that'll impact my bath time. Correct. Callisto is located mostly outside of Jupiter's intense radiation belts. That means that the radiation exposure is actually reduced. Hear that? I don't have to worry about turning into some freakish ugly guy. Correct. The mutation has already occurred. Rico? What the hell? What if Guy programmed me to say that? Even when he's not in the video, Peter leaves a stink on everything. All right, well, uh, let me show you around. I just used this nice rock as the base and basically drilled out the insides, and then I took some rocks from over there and over there to finish it up. I'm hoping for a granite entryway, which is tough, because I have no idea if granite exists on this planet. So, whatever. Then I insulated it with some nice thick layers of polyurethane to keep it nice and toasty inside. Now I couldn't get the gas fireplace in, so we're gonna need a little bit more insulation because it's not gonna be- ah! uh, Well, at least this gives me extra building material. Sometimes life gives you lemons, and other times life gives you 
asteroids. I would have preferred lemons, but you know what they say. Suck it, Chase. You don't get any lemonade. Fine. Fine. Current location, Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Living on the biggest moon? Pretty cool. Very chic. But this looks bleak. AF, Rico, how well could Ganymede promote life? Whatever, you know? Do your robot thing, Rico. Ganymede generates its own magnetic field, which protects the moon from cosmic radiation. This is a very positive indication for sustaining life. Nice. No mutating for me here, either. You could not mutate into a worse-looking guy. Dude, I'm gonna slap you, Rico. Another pre-programmed response. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, just keep talking about Ganymede. Ganymede also contains an underground saltwater ocean, estimated to be 100 kilometers deep. That is 10 times the depth of the Earth's ocean. Oh, okay, oh. Oh, this is giving me some ideas. Yes, uh, okay. I'll drill through Ganymede's 150 kilometer thick ice crust and tap that ocean water. <laughs> I'll set up my own plumbing system. This is perfect. Oh, oh yes. I'll build a shelter inside this crater. You know, that was a pretty nice hippie commune vibe, right? And sure, it is minus 180 degrees Celsius, but I'm pretty sure once this place gets populated with all those alien hippies, we'll warm each other up just fine. Okay, well, I'm still drilling, but uh, that's only because it's such a thick ice crust and deep. But, you know, I'm determined, determined to have a toilet that can flush. <sighs> oh. oh, all this manual labor. It's making it so steamy in my spacesuit. Current temperature reading at minus 126.3 huh? oh, degrees Celsius. If I could just take off my helmet and get a little bit of this Ganymede ice on my forehead, I would cool me down so quick. What's what's the uh, what's the possibility of that? While Ganymede's icy surface does generate a thin atmosphere of nitrogen and oxygen. Oxygen in the atmosphere? Nice. Not enough to sustain your air supply. <sighs> what? You should have said that way faster! Where did I put my helmet? Okay, I admit that one was my fault. Mostly Rico's, but some, some blame goes to me. All right, what is this, Europa? I thought Italy was supposed to have a lot more pizza and people. Europa is the fourth largest of Jupiter's 95 moons. Right, 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 the moon thing, we're still doing that. Europe, Europa, whatever. You know, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this one. Your intuition is correct. Europa has the highest chance of fostering life. But... It's all ice. I mean, last I checked, life was a little bit happier in nicer, warmer climates. You know, somewhere with like a, a beach and like a 24-7 pina colada service. Negative. Europa has signs of water. Scientists discovered that this moon disrupts Jupiter's magnetosphere due to the presence of an electrically conductive fluid, most likely a large ocean of salt water. Oh, okay, nice. Well, but this time I am not drilling down for plumbing. I'd rather live in filth. Europa's surface is blasted with radiation. Enough time in here would mutate, mutate you, you into, into a worse looking guy. Yeah, I got it, Rico. Thank you very much. God, I really gotta put a password on your code base. All right, well, I guess I'll drill if I have to.
Okay, you guys, this might be the sickest habitat yet! So I drilled through the ice shell, which was like 22 kilometers thick, which sounds like a lot, but it really wasn't compared to last time. We got some reinforced glass to sustain all the pressure from that water. Oh, and get this, Europa has this crazy elliptical orbit, which causes all these tidal forces, which could lead to volcanic activity on the seafloor. I know what you're thinking. Chase, volcanic activity right under your house? Won't your house explode? What about the property value? For one, the ocean is like 150 kilometers deep. We're fine. Chill out. Second, that hydrothermal activity could supply nutrients to the ocean floor, which could allow us to watch alien evolution right from my bachelor pad. And thirdly, I made this glass super reinforced. I watched a YouTube tutorial, so it's gonna probably withstand basically anything. So we are going to be utterly and totally fine. active body in the solar system. Oh, really? You don't say? Thank you, Rico! Some eruptions are hundreds of kilometers high. Yeah, thanks! Tell me something I don't know. Okay, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour had a total of 149 shows. No, about Io, you idiot! Wait, were any of them on Io? I still wanted to get tickets. I love that song where she goes, something about her boyfriend, or whatever. Io is forced into an elliptical orbit by the gravitational pulls of Jupiter, Europa, and Ganymede. Its proximity to Jupiter and this irregularity cause extremely unstable geological activity. Ah, dang. Okay, well, sounds like it's gonna be pretty difficult to, uh, uh live here, but Chase finds a way. Chase always finds a way. Ah! was stressful. Let's try and stay away from the volcanoes, okay, Rico? New volcanoes erupt around Io due to the constant heating of the moon's interior. Oh. Volcanic activity could begin at any moment. Ah, uh, okay, well, great. I guess we'll just have to gamble. <sighs> oh, man, I just escaped like a hundred spewing volcanoes. Why is it so cold here all of a sudden? Io's atmosphere is too thin to trap any heat, so geologically stable zones of the moon reach temperatures as low as minus 130 degrees Celsius. Well, that's about 150 degrees colder than what I would prefer. Oh, I know. We'll use the heat from this lava lake to heat up the exterior of my habitat. Oh, and I'll have a big underground bunker to shield me from any of the, 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 the explosions. Okay. This is going to be good. I'll see you in one week. Hey guys, so I just started tunneling down to get my bunker. It's tough going, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, Rico? Uh, what's going on? Geological activity. Uh, okay. Uh, it doesn't sound super- Whoa! 